the rat's ridden. Bill Gates, he's my hero! I cannot be around you with that book. This is informational video about volcanoes! And that's how loud it's going. Oh, hi, I didn't see you there. I am trying to find a volcano for me. Right, kids? Yeah! How volcanoes are formed. Come sit here, little boy. Okay. What are we going to learn about today? Volcanoes. Oh, cool. So, so how are volcanoes formed, anyways? That beach boy. I never met before. was really acrobatic. You should be in the circus. <laughs> Missy here. Volcanoes are formed when plates beneath the earth spread apart, cause a magnet to blow up. Is that all? Wow. Did you know that three quarters of the earth magma comes from under the ocean? Oh. Good to know, kids. Uh. Oh my god, it's a volcano! <laughs> and it's erupting! Volcanoes can be very destructive, killing people and destroying property. People have even been killed by clouds of hot ash and poisonous gases, and buried by volcanic mudslides. People have died from starvation because their crops, livestock, and other sources of food were destroyed. Whole villages and even cities were destroyed by volcanoes. Did you know that? Well, did you know? Oh, um, yes. Did you know volcanoes have positive effects as well? Volcanic ash improves soil and creates rich farmland. Volcanic rock can contain many useful materials and gems. Some of the largest diamonds in the world are found in volcanic rocks. People have been found using volcanic rock for thousands of years. The Tall Tan First Nation was mining obsidian several thousand years ago because the sharp edges and points of the volcanic rock rock could be made into useful tools. Some ad aboriginal peoples used obsidian scaffolds for surgery. This igne igneous knowledge is important today. Obsidian scaffolds are still used for eye surgery. Okay, no, no, no.